Living in America is about freedom. Freedom to speak freely, freedom to move freely from place to place, freedom to defend your home and property, and best of all, it's freedom to do dangerous things like ride your motorcycle on a cliff somewhere in Idaho. The month of July is about celebrating freedom from tyranny. The USA has lost a lot of ground, but we still enjoy a lot more than most. I invite everyone to consider what freedom means to you. Join me as I ride the deadliest trail in Idaho, from start to finish, uncut. Leave a comment letting me know what the most freedom-loving thing you have done this year is, and enjoy the ride. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. You guys might recognize this trail. This is one that gets my full attention. There's some trails where you can relax on and kind of take it easy. This is not one of those trails. It definitely demands your full respect because even when it's real brushy in here, if you go off to your right, it's not going to be a good time. I don't hear a drone, I don't see a drone. My brother was back at the trailhead flying a really nice drone. So we'll see how that turns out. I don't see it, so hopefully, hopefully we don't have another drone casualty. But last time I was, I was up in here, we lost a uh, really nice drone. So I'd like to see if we can spot it and possibly rescue it. I'm one for one on drone rescues. Actually, I'm even better than that. I'm two for two, technically. So I uh, shot my other drone out of a tree with a handgun. So, it's definitely, definitely some good drone rescue going on. As long as I can see the drones. But when you're riding this trail, definitely don't take it fast. Just take your time. Make sure that you're paying attention to your RPM. This is a shared trail as well. We're during the week right now, so um, right now, I don't think there's going to be anybody here. But if there were, I'd have to, I'd have to yield to um, pedestrians, horses. Definitely done some work to this trail. Last time I was here, I had to carry momentum over that, kind of right a wall. But this time, much safer. Definitely much safer.
kind of feel bad if I'm leaving the drone in the dust, but I did wait for it for a while. I hope it's not in a tree somewhere or in the river. Those trees will come out of nowhere when you're flying a drone. want to take the steering locks out of your bike because the last thing you want is limited steering when you're trying to navigate one of these tighter turns Some of this is deceptive, like I said, there's overgrowth, so it looks like you're somewhat safe. If you look beyond the overgrowth, you're looking at the uh, Great Abyss, probably the Shadow Realm if you go that direction. have a two-stroke that runs real well <clears throat> ideally you can drop the rpm down and make the, uh, the power really smooth drop the rpms down to almost idle and it should run good there this bike in particular is running a little weak off of idle It's not like it was when it was brand new, that's for sure. There's a beautiful spot where it's still right here. down there.
once you get to this little field here you think you may be in the clear you might have gone through all of these sketchy cliff edge trails that are death defying until you get to the end of this throws you right back on a cliff edge this is definitely a trail that messes with your nerves if you let it last time I did it I was pretty tense on the way back and for good reason hard to find that happy medium sometimes where you are loose you're able to ride the way you need to when you're loose you can move the way you need to you can change your balance up if you get tight balance becomes a real issue any little movement like if you hit a rock or something like that it's way more likely to throw you off but on the flip side of that if you're too loose then you're hitting stuff and you're just not being as precise as you should be And on this trail, now if you do make a little bit of a mistake, you're in big trouble. So, like I said at the beginning, this trail has my full attention. I make sure to pay attention to where my front tire is going. If I'm going to hit a rock, I know about it. Because if I get deflected one foot to the right at some points, um, I'm going a hundred feet off of a cliff so right here we're getting back onto the cliff edges a lot more there's one section in particular that is a little bit off camber has your rubbing bars with the rock It's always pretty in here, pretty green, lots of water in there. These streams, when I've been here before, they are actual streams. Right now it's green in there, but there's no water. This is a cool formation right here. there is where a rock has been removed actually it looks like to me off to my right here it's a rock face for sure and you're climbing so you feel a little bit of slippage you're sliding around climbing up that rock those are the sections that can really get to you
good on the dry side. Like I said, in here where it's green, the soil is nice. But elsewhere, it's pretty dry already. stream crossings are a lot easier when you uh, have a good idea that you're gonna stick to the rock. A lot of this wet rock gets a layer of moss on there and it's impossible to stick to. Makes things difficult. I don't know if I'll have drone footage of this, but I will do some aerial shots that are more landscape. And we'll show our scenery. So I'll manually fly my drone down here, kind of give you guys a good perspective of what this area looks like, that kind of thing. But in terms of uh, watching me ride, I don't think I'll have that kind of footage this time. If you want some more of that footage, I have a video of this same trail where I actually do um, a follow me drone and I, I have some good third person perspective of the trail. that I don't remember that stream.
Looks like somebody repaired this part of the trail as well. Looks like that was all sloughed away. back trail as well so that's one thing that would be really nice is if this was a loop for one I don't necessarily like doing this twice so I don't like coming back I'd rather it be a loop for that reason and also I want to see some new scenery add to, would add to the experience a bit to have some new scenery, although this scenery is beautiful. But, uh, yeah, it would definitely be nice if this looped around. This trail has a lot of cliff sections. Just when you think you're done, you got to do another one. If you have a thing with heights, this trail will definitely bother you, as it does me. And they've added a no trespassing deal here. So this is what the, the end of the trail looks like. Beautiful place. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining the ride. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Look at that water down there. It is so, so deep. And it's not moving very fast. I bet there are some lunkers in there.